What's going on, world? It's your boy, Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at Neptune in the sixth house and what it's like to have Neptune in the sixth house in your astrological birth chart. So, let's get into it. What is Neptune? Neptune is the planet of spirituality. It's this planet of illusions, fantasies, dreams. It represents things like Hollywood, our our deep desires, how we spiritualize our life. And the sixth house, what is the sixth house? The sixth house is the original house of Virgo. It's the house of service, everyday routine. It's really where we ground ourselves. And as I like to say, where legends are made. So this is probably the most interesting um, position of Neptune through houses, at least for me. And the reason being is because Neptune is this uh, mysterious energy, this, this this confusing energy. And in the sixth house, is you don't get an easy read on it. There's a lot of context that goes into this. So, you know, I always say, you're going to have to look at the whole chart. You really do with, with Neptune in the six. But what I've seen, there's two extremes or, 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 or two scenarios. The sixth house is the house of health as well. And with throughout different planets that come within the sixth house, you get an idea of whatever trauma or ailments that a soul is born with. And those ailments can manifest as like, you know, physical a disease or something going wrong. So let's let's give an so so someone with Neptune in the sixth house can be a soul who is coming into this incarnation with the need to uh, purge themselves of trauma from past lives or just things that they they didn't deal with in the past life. So on one side, this can be a position of like karmic debt. So you can have here, and then this is said aspects and the rest of the chart is really going to give context. You have a soul here in Neptune in the sixth house who may have been very, very indulgent in, in a previous life and shit. They may have a, a stellium in the second house to, to, to show that, right? They're a very indulgent soul. And within indulging, there are certain things that the, that the soul didn't necessarily address. So while they were taking the time to feed their indulgent nature, they may have not dealt with their problems head on or had to at that moment deal with the consequences of like not of eating too much or not taking care of yourself correctly. So then when you come into the sixth house, you got to deal with all that shit. You have to like. You the this soul will learn the lesson like yo if you if you overeat you're gonna gain a lot of weight or you'll be presented with a scenario where maybe early on in life you're diabetic or, or something happens so boom now from that scenario obviously it activates the sixth house things a Virgo or the person having to be detail oriented and you know put extra care into their their health. But at the same at the same time, you have the act. This is the spiritualization for the individual, whether or not they realize it. So it's a thing where, like, if it's a Neptune in the sixth person who is sickly as a child, naturally they don't realize how much more effort that they're putting in to take care of themselves. That there, that's going to manifest in traits when they get older where they may be really health conscious, right? Or since they were disciplined, they, their diet is a particular way, so they abstain from, from certain things. And in actuality, that limitation or that ailment helps provide structure and boundaries for the Neptune in the six. And then therefore, this person could probably grow up to be some type of nutritionist um, or work directly with something having to deal with 
their own element or something service oriented. So that's one scenario. A soul that needs to purge or purify itself. So then under that same umbrella, you may have someone who really ha is like has like OCD. OK, or at the same time, because this is Neptune and this is the, the house of health, this can manifest in someone who um, has a mental illness, whether, you know, and this this can vary. Now, just so you understand the context of the past life. That's why I said it, that trauma that from the past life in the sense of of um, manifesting in a, a mental illness can be from. From, from not being heard to, to being confined and then in the present life it's manifesting this is that this particular thing I'm talking about is going to take on even more um, importance if you have 12 house energy if you if this Neptune here in the six is involved in like a T square would possibly like the chart ruler or a lot of different scenarios so now I'm gonna go to the next part with Neptune in the sixth. Net, then the next Neptune in the sixth individual, like I said, this can be the natural mystic. This can be the person who has just been spiritually aware their whole life. And not, and it doesn't have to be a, a necessarily a spiritual thing where um, they're into astrology or tarot and they express that it can it can be one of like uh you, you know back in the day how they used to portray like a surfer is like really oblivious and just easy going like yeah dude that can be neptune in the six like of the world right because you're in the world but 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 not really of it finding your your bliss so then for this type individual i say it could be a natural mystic but it doesn't have to come in a form of i'm teaching you about spirituality this can be that 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 child savant you know uh that's really good in science that's uh graduated high school at 10 the if, if you if you're listening closely to what i'm saying you'll see here that Neptune in the six really, it, like I said, it presents this opportunity for the soul to anchor its spirituality in everyday life or really live its dreams. And in order, in order to spiritualize the life, there are going to be certain scenarios that one puts in, into their path. Um, so, you have, so you have that person who naturally is spiritually aware and, and lives on an everyday basis in some form of, you know, what spirituality means to them, kind of just feeding their spirit, following the will of their soul. So then with this overall, for all Neptune in the six individuals, it runs the risk of not being able to find that footing, struggling with a pull to the other side, always, um, you know, the, the constant need to escape on, on an everyday basis. So, a really harsh aspect of Neptune or other um, other configurations can make this person really indulgent, okay, thus easily succumbing um, to addiction. But then, like I said, it can be within their path where that's just a catalyst for a bigger transformation. All in all, the person has to learn how to experience the spiritual bliss that they seek um, through just the everyday happenings, okay? Um, and I can tell you, like, that's the secret between Virgo and Pisces is, is practical service leads to spiritual transcendence. It's as simple as that. So, uh, next thing with Neptune in the six. So with that, with that grounding that, um, hard to be, find its footing. These people can be late bloomers in the sense of not knowing what they want to do you know with their life and particularly for the neptune and capricorn um generation obviously that has a, a, a career theme to it um your your route may be non-traditional you get what i'm saying uh this can be and then this can be with the neptune and the sixth individual because it's opposite to 12 normally has some type of hidden hidden talent if they're not 
if you're not expressing like that spiritual Neptune part, like through your career or some form, there your alone time is meant to cultivate that. And then you don't necessarily need to express it. So it can be like this person who's like a, a Amazon driver, but on online they have a huge following like for their art or something that they express so re really interesting um position um but yeah just like neptune in the first you'll definitely need to take care of the physical body and watch what you put into it um many of you uh who are currently on the spiritual journey your your journey will consist of transitioning into things like uh being vegan others of you are going to become that 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 healer right it's just a matter of finding your niche um so yeah really look for the other houses connected to this because they're going to tell you how to really best get the most out of out of this uh this neptune and then i think the last thing i want to say here is that you learn something some of the Neptune and the six people are willing to embrace the flaws of humanity, but not of themselves. If that is you, you want to change that. And eventually you want to see the oneness. So it's a thing where Neptune and the six individuals can really sacrifice themselves in ways for others they can sacrifice themselves for others in ways that they wouldn't sacrifice for themselves. And that's a key thing. All right. So this, this is a little bit about Neptune in the six. Uh, if you have this position, feel free to chime in. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you need a reading, click the description link. Send me an email. We'll set something up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you could do so now. Till next time. Peace.